Hello and welcome. My name is Dion. And I am Shavana. And we are so glad that you decided to join us for this free training. If you're watching the replay, welcome to you too. We hope you're comfy. Today, you're gonna finally know the number you need to be making each month to actually make a profit and get clear on your business goals. We're only together for 20 minutes, so to make sure you get the most out of it, please stop and grab a pen, paper, calculator, and keep an open mind. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a brainstorm. Does this sound like you? Are you dreaming of saying adios to your boss at your nine to five, but you don't really know how you can support yourself without a regular paycheck? Do you have a burning passion to be your own boss, but you're a little bit overwhelmed with how to begin? Maybe you've already started your business and you've done all that you know how to do to take it to the next level. And now you're looking for that additional piece, that additional nugget to help you pivot. If this sounds like you, then yes, you are in the right place today. I mean, who doesn't want lifestyle freedom, a relaxing, inspiring morning routine, having time for the gym or whatever it is that's important to you? Who doesn't want that? Also, financial freedom. Having more than enough money for all of your desires, whether that's professional and personal, being able to pay off all your debts and feeling responsible that you're saving for your future. And finally, and I would say probably most importantly, creative freedom. Being able to do things your own way without any limits so that you can feel like each and every day you're able to grow and really be the person that you want to be and take your business to where you would like for it to go. So today, what we hope you'll be able to discover is exactly how much money do you really need in order to reach your business goals? And with that number in mind, once you find that number, what version of your business can you commit to today? So remember, how much money do you really need to meet your business goal each month? And what version of your business with that number in mind are you able to today commit to? Now over to Dion so we can get into the money. Yes, let's talk about money, baby. So if you haven't grabbed your calculator, please, please do that now. Money is important. It's what we need to enjoy quality of life. It's the number one reason people start businesses. Otherwise, it's just a hobby. So before we continue, I want us to stop and do a little math. Don't worry, you don't need to do it in your head. I want you to grab your calculator now. Okay, got it. Yes, let's learn this profit formula. So the formula is your desired income every month plus saving a little bit for taxes, that's gonna be 30%. And then you're also gonna make sure that you have a lot 20% for business development and marketing expenses. All of those things together, that's gonna equal your profit number. This is gonna be your monthly money goal. Now that you have the formula, let's work through an example with real numbers. Don't worry, you will receive a workbook after the webinar with this formula. Okay, so let's say you want to make $5,000 a month. That's your desired income. We're gonna set aside 1,500 for taxes. And we're also gonna set aside 1,000 for business development and marketing expenses. So all together, the number that we really need to make a number, we really need to make a month, the actual revenue you need to make is $7,500. Now I know you've been probably thinking and calculating your own number. Does this change anything for you now? When you think about the business you want to create, how many products or clients will you have to really serve to make that number? I want you to keep this number handy. Write it down on a post-it note. This is your stretch number. It's gonna make you either step it up so you can get to the next level, or it's gonna make you wanna quit. Be honest with yourself right now. If the number feels impossible, that's okay. I guarantee there's a way for you to make that number it's all about your approach, which brings us to the one thing that will make all the difference, having business goals, and Shavana's gonna tell you now. Okay, so before we get into that, I want everyone to take a deep breath, and let's level set. If you're thinking, wow, this number that I've just come up with, there is no way that today I can reach that number. It feels way too big. That's fine, as Dion mentioned. I do think, we both think that there is a version of your business that you can start today. The number that you've just written down, 
this number is uh, the goal. That's something that you want to get to. And today may not be the day, maybe even the first part of the year may not be the year that you get to it, but you know that that is the goal. I stated in a book that I recently started called The E-Myth, which I highly recommend. In each business owner, they say there are three personas. You have the entrepreneur, the manager, and the technician. So let's go through each of those personas in a little bit more detail. The entrepreneur, that's the visionary. This is the dreamer. That persona is what likely got you to this webinar today. The manager, that persona is the persona that really operationalizes that vision. So how many nuts and bolts are needed to make the widget or how many eggs are needed to bake the cake and how much does it cost? That manager, that is the persona that really makes sure that all of the tools and all the pieces that we need are in place so we can move forward to finally the technician. This is the persona that is really only concerned with building the widget or baking the cake. The technician really lives in the production side of your business. Now, with that being said, think, think about that number, think about where you are today, think about your time and who's really in the driver's seat. Is it the entrepreneur? That's the visionary. Is it the manager or is it the technician? Who's in the driver's seat right now and who needs to be in the driver's seat to take your business to that next level and really move the needle forward today? So what version of your business are you ready to commit to today? Now that you have a revenue number, and remember, this could be just a goal. We don't have any timelines on it just yet. But now that you have a number in mind, I would say break that number down into some smaller goals and then think about the year ahead and think, what can you do each day, each week, each month, each quarter in order to get you to whatever that revenue goal is? So let's take another deep breath. And let's think, let's do a little bit of dreaming. And on that same sheet of paper that you've written down your revenue goal, maybe use that as a place to take notes about this. One year from now, what do you want your life to look like? Where are you living? Who are the people that are in your life? Who are the people who are working in your business? How much money are you making each month? What are you learning? What are you teaching those that are in your business? Are you traveling? What's making you smile? What feels unbelievable? If you could take a second and dream of one year from today, what do you want to have true, be true for your life? Just think about it and just write down a few words. Okay, so now that you've thought about it, what can you do today? What do you need to do today? What do you need to do this month? What do you need to do this quarter to get to that vision that you just brainstormed and dreamed about one year from today. Again, it's like Dion said, it really all starts with that money goal. And now that you have that goal written down and you have an idea of where you're going, we can consider that a bit of a GPS. So you have a goal, it's tangible. You can see it, you see it down on paper, you have it in your head, you have it in your heart. Now bite that, take that goal into bite-sized portions and move it forward. So maybe right now today, you can't get to that $5,000 that we use in our example, but maybe you can get to a thousand in the next month, in the next quarter. Just start there. Just keep that overarching goal in mind. And I think from there, you can make the dream a reality. I can't believe that our time is already up. We wanted to keep it short and sweet because we know you have a lot to think about. I have one final action step for you a challenge that you must do today. Not for me, but for you. I want you to do one thing today that proves to yourself that you're serious about making your business successful. Do one thing that moves the needle and gets you one step closer. It could be creating an official email account just for your business, or creating a list of all the things you've been putting off and the reasons why. It could be establishing and figuring out who can help me. It's your choice, but it has to be done today. For accountability, I want you to email me at Dion at snrcreative.com by midnight and show me proof that you've done it. I'll be cheering you on. And I'll be cheering you on too. And one thing I do want to emphasize, as Dion just mentioned, just the one thing that you can do today. And I know the tendency, once you get off the call, maybe that manager will take over or maybe that technician will take over. 
But for this action step, we really think the entrepreneur needs to be in the driver's seat and think about it. What is that thing you want to do? So don't lose that momentum. Don't lose that innovation and make sure that you don't forget to take the action step and email Dion today by the end of the day so we can know that you've done it. Yes. And if you like to get real clarity, more clarity, and create a unique business plan that incorporates your business goals and your values and creates a checklist of all the things you need to do in order to succeed in the time frame you have in mind, then we would love to work with you. Roadmap to Business Clarity is two hours of dreaming and planning and working out the kinks so that you feel confident about what to do next to reach your money goals. Having a business can be a lonely process, but it doesn't have to be. We're here to help. Yes. We can't wait to help you. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a good day.